Psoriasis is a debilitating disease affecting more than 6 million Americans. Once thought of as simply a skin disease, psoriasis is increasingly recognized as a serious disease with a significant impact on quality of life and emotional well-being. What causes psoriasis and what do we know about the disease? Although the exact etiology of psoriasis is unknown, it is thought to be multifactorial, involving both environmental and genetic factors. Recent evidence suggests that immune dysregulation may contribute to the inflammation in psoriasis, leading to excessive keratinocyte production and formation of a psoriatic plaque. It is still unclear what triggers the immune dysregulation, but the process is now understood to involve the participation of T lymphocytes and a number of specific cytokines they express or that affect them. To become activated, naive T cells must first undergo a multi-step process that includes interactions with other cell types. The inflammatory process is thought to begin when an antigen-presenting cell, such as a dendritic cell, is activated by an antigen in the skin. The dendritic cell travels to a lymph node where it interacts with a naive T cell in a process that involves antigen presentation as well as necessary co-stimulatory signals. This process results in the transformation of the T cell into an activated memory T cell because it remembers the antigen to which it has been exposed. Next, follow cell proliferation and migration of the T cells through the circulation to the site of inflammation in the skin. During this phase, migration and trafficking of these cells through the bloodstream involves adhesion molecules such as ICAM-1. Following T cell extravasation into the skin, other immune components such as cytokines play an important role in the inflammatory cascade. These chemical messengers, including TNF-alpha and interferon gamma, are secreted by memory T cells and lead to keratinocyte hyperproliferation and subsequent formation of psoriatic plaques. In addition, the cytokines interleukins 12 and 23 are released by dendritic cells and contribute to the activation of T cells, which are thought to perpetuate the inflammatory process. In the accompanying videos, we will focus on the roles of three key components in the development of a psoriatic plaque. The processes involving T cells, the activity of TNF-alpha, and the activity of interleukins 12 and 23. While our understanding of the immunopathogenesis of psoriasis has improved based on recent research, the exact cause remains unknown and there is no cure. Some researchers believe that a more thorough understanding of the inflammatory nature of psoriasis may provide further insights into the prevention and treatment of this disease.